Hey guys, it's me, Jess, and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be what's sold over this weekend. So I like doing these videos to show you what is selling right now, whether they be small, small sales or large sales. And uh, guess what? You're in for a treat. I have both for you. So for those of you who don't know me, hey, I'm Jess. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, a little bit of Facebook and a little bit of Tradesy. If you're interested in any reselling content, be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. So this weekend I had a lot of sales and I was really excited and there was something funny going on with Poshmark that I'll mention later. So this weekend I only had sales on eBay, Macari, and Poshmark. So let's go ahead and get started with eBay. All right, the first thing that sold on eBay is kind of a funny one. They are Universal Studios Marvel swim trunks. And it's funny because I've had these for like six, seven years. They were maybe like the first thing I picked up clothing wise. They kept ending up in donation piles. Like I was like, ah, oh, I'm just going to donate this. They haven't sold. And then they came back <laughs> and I was like, well, they'll sell eventually. So yes, I've had these a very long time. I paid $2.50. I'm pretty sure I bought them at Goodwill and they sold for a whopping $9.99. All right, the next item is a very exciting one. It is a Reebok puffer coat, and this one had a faux fur hood. I bought this at Ross's clearance sale. They do this every January or February. This I ended up buying for $10, and I sold it for $79.99. And I was super excited that this sold because I was afraid I was going to keep it for a whole nother summer, but no, somebody from Wyoming ended up buying it. Yeah. And sadly, my last item for eBay, which eBay used to be my biggest selling platform, I only had three sales this weekend, so that's telling you anything. So yeah, the next thing I sold was this vintage Christian Dior lingerie. I don't know why I did that, but whatever, <laughs> we'll go with it. This was super exciting because it sold for $79.99 and I got this at my local bag sale where everything is literally like 50 cents to a dollar. Okay, we are going to move along to Macari, and I didn't make that many sales on Macari, but sadly, I don't make many sales on Macari, but I made more sales on Macari than I did on eBay, which is totally weird. So the first sale that I'm going to share with you is this Kalia by Carrie Underwood sweater. It's purple. I love selling purple. I bought this at Goodwill. I used to pick up anything Kalia by Carrie Underwood because it did used to sell for me all the time but now I'm starting to sit on some things. So I'm rethinking whether I should pick up Kalia anymore or if I can get it at a good price. This one did sit for a little bit and I ended up selling it for $17. Okay, this next one comes with kind of a story. I went to garage sales last weekend and I haven't been to garage sales in a while. I'm not the best at garage sales. I'm very reserved and I, I hate asking for like lower prices. Like it's just not in me. Like you're already giving me a good price. So why am I going to ask you for lower? I mean, I know people do it all the time. I just, I can't, I'm just, I'm one of those people. So this garage sale had a few good items. Um, I went through their boxes full of clothes. They were all like juniors and extra small. So I was like, man, I'm not going to pick up that much. And then this lady came over to me. Uh, she didn't speak that great of English, but she was like, oh, everything in the box is $1, $2. So I was like, okay, well, then I started picking up stuff that, you know, I just wanted to give it a try or, you know, I knew I wouldn't get that much money for. So one of them was this Under Armour hoodie and I was like, oh, this will be like a dollar. So um, other, other things I picked up were like Victoria's Secret Pink, which isn't the best, um, some Michael Kors, some Adidas, some Nike, just eh, brands. Anyways, I get up to the front and this lady who's, who's very like, I don't know. She seemed kind of angry, like angry that I'm buying her stuff. I don't, I didn't get it. And I was already like, ah, and she started like throwing the stuff and she was like, uh, $4, $5, uh, $7. I was like, um, I thought these were all a dollar or $2. And she looked at me and she's like, so you don't want them? And I was like, yeah, I want them. Like, <laughs> she made me so nervous. So I ended up paying $34 at this gar garage sale. I have yet to make my money back on it, but I know I will eventually. There was one Lululemon piece in there that I'm pretty sure I could at least get $34 for. So I was excited for that. And I did end up selling this tank top for 12 
whole freaking dollars. All right, next Macari sale is this Torrid blush pink tank top. I don't really pick up tank tops, but this was Torrid, so I thought I'd give it a try. I did get it at Goodwill, so I'm pretty sure I probably paid the full $4 for it. It was pretty, um, and it did end up selling for full price for $19. And the last sale on Macari was a pretty fun one. I sold this Nike Pittsburgh Steelers Ben Roethlisberg throwback jersey. I found this in my brother's closet. He's doing a huge clean out of his basement. He had a bunch of clothes shoved in his closet and he told me, go through it, take what you want. I'm getting rid of the rest and I don't ever want to see it again. So of course, you know, I had to jump on that and I did find this along with like hundreds and hundreds of other items that are <laughs> in here. Some still need to be listed, some are listed and not selling, but I, I'm pretty sure I can make some, some good money. Anyways, I was super excited because this sold within 24 hours for full price, $125. Okay, now we're going to move on to Poshmark. I will try not to blab too much about each item. So let's get started with the first one. The first one was this Antonio Milani skirt. I actually did this in a haul. It was my St. Louis versus New Orleans haul that I did a collab with Alicia from Murray Life. If you want to watch that video, I will go ahead and link it up above. But I was super excited because I don't normally pick up Antonio Milani, but I did because this was super cute and it sold for $29. Next item are these Salvatore Ferragamo shoes and Salvatore Ferragamo. I feel has gone way, way down in resale value. So whenever I found these at the bins, I pretty much was throwing them back. But my friend Kendra, who goes with me to the bins, she says she's doing really well with them. And I usually gave them to her and she would show me her sale prices of like $50. So the last time we went, I picked up some Salvatore Ferragamo and they were really, really rough. I'm not an expert on cleaning shoes like at all, uh, especially when they're like nice shoes. And I didn't want them to just sit, so I did list them like as is. And somebody offered me 25 and I was like, yep, <laughs> out they go. So yes, these sold for 25 and my Ben's price is $1.39 per pound, so I paid around three or four dollars. Speaking of Ben's shoes and <laughs> not cleaning them, um, I also picked up some Skecher Shape Ups. I know Skecher Shape Ups sell so well for other people, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test these out. I got them home and I was like looking them over and I was like, wow, these are really really in rough shape like they're just dirty and I was like I don't want to clean these I don't like taking the time to clean shoes especially if I'm just gonna get like 10 or 15 more dollars so again sold these as is uh, somebody offered me 20 and I happily took it this is where things got a little interesting on Poshmark so over the span of three hours I sold nine items this was on Sunday and it was closet clear out. So I decided to, you know, try my luck at closet clear out. Uh, side note, I don't have the My Shoppers feature that everybody talks about. And I, I really wish I did, but my screen just like does a little circle thing for like 30 minutes. And then finally I give up and I feel like I shouldn't have to wait that long. So uh, yes, my, my Shoppers is broken on Poshmark. So here come a bunch of sales that ended up happening all within a three hour time span. First up, this American Eagle dress. I picked this up a long time ago. I think it was new with tags. I'm not sure. I would not recommend picking up American Eagle. I picked it up at Goodwill. I don't know if it was half off or anything. It's been that long. We used the closet clear out and I lowered the price to $10 because I wanted it gone and somebody did buy it. And my closet clear out method was basically just to lower the prices on anything that somebody had liked within the last 24 hours. That way I know that somebody actively liked that item. And then next up came a full price sale from a guest. So they probably saw my item on Google. These were some Victoria's Secret sandals. They had faux fur on the top, so they were super cute. I believe they were never worn judging by the bottoms. I got these in a throwed up shoe box, which I have another one coming, so pretty excited for that. And they sold for full price of $27. I end up paying $7 per pair that I ended up listing in that box. And speaking of thread up, a, another pair of shoes I got an offer on for $19. These were the Gola slash Liberty. I don't know if that was a collab. I looked them up online. They looked like they were selling well, but unfortunately I had these for a long, 
long time and it was time for them to go. Another successful closet clear out item. I lowered these Alfani pants to $10 because again, they're Alfani. They don't have a high resale value. I think they're sold at JCPenney's. I got these in a Goodwill blue box and everything averaged out to like $3 per piece. Yeah, to make a little bit of money on that and not have to donate it is pretty great. The next item is an item that is a retail arbitrage item. My mom and I recently, less than a week ago, went out on a shopping spree all over the St. Louis area. So much fun hanging out with her. But at one of the stores, I did pick up a couple Lily Pulitzer skorts. They have her signature multicolored pastel pattern on it. So these were brand new with tags. I think I paid $25 per pair. I have now sold both of them and the last one sold on Sunday for $65. Next up was another offer that came in during my three hour span. This is a vintage Disney Mickey Mouse button up top. I saw it at the bag sale. I knew it was vintage. So I figured I'd do okay with it considering it's only 50 cents to a dollar and it sold for 20. And the last item that sold in this three hour span is this a free people jumpsuit. This was actually featured in my last video. I will link that up above of my Plato's Closet dollar day dress and skirt haul. This one I was <laughs> super nervous because I was afraid I wasn't going to find the stock photo. I use stock photos. Sometimes you just have to because your items <laughs> will look really crappy especially jumpsuits that have like the halter top and no strings to hang them on the hanger. Anyways, I paid a dollar for this obviously and it sold for 25. All right, later in the afternoon, I ended up getting an offer for this Gucci hobo bag and yes, I did say Gucci. I got this in a thread up box. It was one of their designer boxes. I've had this for over a year. Again, I know that I'm going to hold designer items for a lot longer but a year was just a little too long i did have this listed really really high but I, when i get an offer of 150 dollars that ends up paying for my entire box i kind of i have to take it plus this purse was kind of in really rough shape but again the name gucci is gonna bring it the higher price tag in these thread up designer boxes, I end up paying like $17, $50, maybe $18 per piece. And side note, if ever you see a designer box and you feel the need to reach out, um, go ahead and reach out to me. And if you're a fellow YouTuber, I would be totally happy to collab with you. A couple more items to go. So this was a bundle sale and I made this sale because I saw that this person liked three of my items. So I went ahead and waited a few minutes <laughs> to see if she liked anything else. I went ahead and I bundled these three items and then I sent her a super fantastic offer. I believe it was like 50% off the entire bundle. These were all kind of older items. So I was totally fine with getting rid of these. So the first item in her bundle were these Kohan sandals. They're super cute. There was nothing wrong with them. The bottoms were a little scuffed, but everything else was perfect. Second item were these Nike pants. They were just plain pink pants, nothing special about them. So I was excited to see those go. And the last item <laughs> was this Lulu row. It's called a live top. Uh, it had like soccer things all over it. So I was thinking, you know, soccer mom, I did buy this at Goodwill. Um, I don't, I don't buy Lulu row at Goodwill unless it's a specific piece. This was not within the genre of the specific pieces, but I just thought the print would be good for a soccer mom. So I priced the whole bundle at $35. I gave her a good shipping discount and she happily accepted. So that was super exciting. Next item is this a free people top called the Isabel tunic. It has a fun pattern on it. It's got some bright colors in it. I thought it was very free people-ish kind of boho. I didn't think it would sit as long as it did, but you know, I did get this at Uptown Cheapskate, which is kind of like a Plato's Closet. They were having a nice sale. I don't really remember. I think it was like a dollar or two dollars, depending on the price of the item. So I believe I paid two dollars for this item. 
and I ended up selling it for 20. Right, finally to the last item. Super excited. I sold these Bob's Skechers. I would have loved, loved to have kept these. These were like a cat dog print and they had like little 3D glasses on. It was so cute. I love anything Bob's. They are so comfortable and just so easy to wear. So sadly enough, these were one size too small for me, so they didn't fit. I believe I paid 20 bucks for these. I will happily get rid of them for 40 and that is what somebody offered me, so that is what they went for. All right, whew, that was a lot of items for me considering I am a part-time reseller. Let me uh, scooch on over here and give you my total number of items that ended up selling, and then my total profit after cost of goods and fees is this. Are your guys' sales going up as well? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, thank you so much for watching throughout the entire video. Be sure to give this a thumbs up and have a nice day. Bye.